Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on modern JavaScript for LWC development series. In this video guys, I'll show you how you can use modules to organize your code. If you know about my journey, so I was a .NET developer and I totally understand the importance of a modular programming. Modular programming involves breaking your code into logical chunks so that it is easier to access. If you will also use the modular programming in your JavaScript, then the result will be a code which is easy to read and maintain. Also, if you divide your code in modules, then you can have a reusable functionality that will be saving additional efforts of writing the code again. So guys, basically modules are pretty simple to create and use because like uh, right now in ES6 modules, it is just essentially just a file containing some JavaScript code and that JavaScript code can be reused anywhere uh, you import it. So basically you just need to import it and export the data from the JavaScript file itself. Okay. So in this video, I'll show you like how you can create a JavaScript module and how you can reuse it in your, uh, in your other files, in your JavaScript files. Okay. So for that, let's log into play code first, get started and use an empty JavaScript template. Okay. So guys, first I will create a module. So for that, I will create a new JavaScript file. Let's name it module one. Okay, so this is an empty file right now. And in this file, I will create a function. Print message. Okay, and I will create a message here first i will create a element the div element so i'll use document dot create element okay and now let's add some text in it message and let's add it back to the HTML okay guys so this is a JavaScript module which will be exporting this function but basically in modules to export anything you have to use the export keyword so let's suppose if I would like to export this function so I have to use it like this export space function okay so our first module is ready now let's try to create another module so I will again create a new JavaScript file let's name it module 2 okay and now in module 2 i will create some parameters so our first parameter will be hello world and let's create another literal this message was loaded from module okay now in this from this module i will be exporting these two literals only we are not having any function or anything else from here so we can just simply export it using export then we will use message one and message two okay so we have exported these two literals from this module and from the first module we have exported a function okay now let's see how you can import it in your javascript so in your javascript like we did export to export the module so we will use import to import these modules okay so first let's import print message module from root sign and the module name module one dot javascript and the same way we will import message one and two message one message two from then root sign again module 2 dot javascript okay now let's call that function print message so for that you can just simply use print message and here we will send these two literals value message 1 and message 2 and guys in the output you can see the response 
from the uh, from those modules let me add a space in between okay the response is hello world which is the message one value this message was loaded from module which is message two value and this print message module is basically creating a div element which will be having like whatever text you will pass it from here okay so that's how you can create module and use it so in the code we have uh, looked at so far the function and variable exported were imported using the same names but what if if you would like to rename the function or rename the parameter retrieved from a module can you do that the answer is yes so to rename a module or a function you can just simply have it like message to you can simply do it like as uh, let's suppose message three. So in this case, you will you have to use message three to get the value. See, so that's how you can also rename the values wherever you need as per your requirement. And if you will use the old value, which is like which, which does not exist right now because we have renamed it to something else, you will you will not be getting any result. Okay, now let's take another scenario where let's suppose if you would like to import everything from a module. Okay, so instead of writing like separate parameters and function name, what you can do is you can simply have an asterisk sign, import asterisk, and then you have to give a name for that uh, uh, module. So let's suppose import asterisk as message. Okay, now you can use all the properties all the functions in that modules using this message uh, they consider it as an object okay now you can simply use it like if i will use the same functionality like print message and here i can use it message dot message one plus space message dot message two you can see the same result in console as well we are using all the properties from a module but here also guys when referring to a module exported we call them uh, named exports but what do you think is actually being exported is it just a reference to the exported variable function or a class or is it the actual variable function or a class what will happen if we will rename its value or sorry what will happen if we will reassign the values so let's suppose let's take the previous example where we were having message one and two let me just undo it quickly okay let's take this one so what will happen if you will reassign the value of message one so let's suppose i'm changing the value okay so you can see we are not able to get the output and it is uh, displaying an error here which says cannot assign to import message so guys whatever you will import from a module that is going to be a read only property for you the only way to change something in these properties are going are only by going back to the module change the uh, modify the code in your javascript module and then as you have already imported it in your file so the change will reflect on your file as well so yep so it, it is basically readable you cannot you cannot change it okay so that's it for today guys i hope you like today's video if you like today's video a uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome if you need the complete code guys so you can just simply go to my blog which is salesforcefold.com and get the code snip from there as well okay so i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching